Hi, I'm Scott Hartrick, and I'm the president of Dynamic Metal Innovations. We're a 17-person job shop located right outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how paperless parts and fulcrum integrate together and do our uh, production workflow from quote through inventory uh, right into flowing the work into the job shop. We use paperless parts um, RFQ. AI feature. So anytime a request comes in, we just forward that request from the customer to a special uh, email from Paperless. And what that does is it reads the RFQ from the customer and any data that they put in their email. So here we have a customer that wants a few parts quoted, best lead time and price and the part number description and, and different quantity breaks. So all we'll do is we'll send this over to Paperless. And what that'll do is it'll upload any files uh, and any other data that that customer requested right into the quote for Paperless. Okay, so you'll see that new quote from email forwarding came in, quote number 457, and it populates the uh, customer, when it was created, and then the due date. So we'll hop right in to that quote. And you'll see some of the purple stars. This is what the uh, AI is inferring from that quote request. So it starts pre-populating some information. And if you come down here, you'll see uh, I brought all the files over from that email. And what we'll do is we'll do a bulk create. And what it does is it reads that uh, this particular RFQ had a little chart in the email. It reads all that, pre-populates the description, quantity breaks. So all we have to do here is create the line items. And what it does is it'll create two different line items and we'll add those files that it's seeing. It says, hey, let's get these in here. And then that pre-populates uh, the full file package into each line item. So the, the amount of time savings is, is really great for that. Um, we can also come in here and read the email uh, within Paperless, too, so we don't have to go back into our email account or try to figure out if we forgot some details. Um, it puts everything right here within Paperless. So what we'll do is we'll we'll hop in to these parts. Again, it brings everything over. You can bring it up in the viewer, look at details, set file, PDF is here. Um, we will go in here and We'll select our process. Uh, we know for this particular part, we'll say it's steel. We have our own little custom processes built out for the way we, we quote jobs. Um, so that's configurable in a lot of different ways. So what it does is it opens up the part, flattens it, grabs the material thickness, materials in there, and it builds out all of our default operations for this process. So it counts the bends. Uh, we know we need to do some bending, and uh, we'll also say on this, we customer wants this to be powder coated. So we'll pre-populate powder, and we'll throw a note in here um, for for that operation. And it also lists out the quantity breaks, so we have that that pricing in there as well. Um, we'll grab the second part. Uh, this one has a, a little bit more. Uh, details to it. It's an assembly. And we know this one, we're going to do some welding on it. And it's 304 um, with a brush finish. And we know on this one, we're just going to throw in, do some grinding. Um, we'll, say, we'll say it's 10 minutes to weld, 20 minutes to grind. And then this also brings out the bomb for this assembly. So on each of these, um, we're just going to update the process for these parts. And this can get done in, in bulk too, but we'll just go through on each of these. We know there's going to be some hardware in this one. No finishes. And then this final one here, uh, this is a, a PEM insert. Um, we're going to make that a purchase component and 
Kakos is going to read um, the 3D of that and identify that, hey, this is an OEM PEM from PEM Engineering. And we're going to convert that to a purchase component. And it's going to bring in the pricing automatically for those PEMs based on DB Roberts pricing. So what we'll do here is just check these parts. Um, this brought everything in. What we'll just tell it is um, hardware. There's eight of those PEMs. And then it populates all that. And that's the flat part. So that makes up this housing box. And uh, we are pretty, pretty good to go. Uh, we can do some status updates here on the parts. If we have any issues during quoting or we need some something to get checked or there's a problem, um, we'll mark both those complete. Return to the quote. Um, one thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say no welding on corners as a manufacturer's note. And then we can take a look at this quote. So you'll see quantity 5, quantity 20 of each and the pricing. Um, and then you also see that manufacturer's note that I put in there that we're not doing any welding on the corners of that part. Um, one thing I can also do is um, sometimes customers say, hey, quote your best lead time. Um, we can apply some expedites. Uh, we use expedites a lot. Customers seem to really like that. And that will give them um, different pricing for different lead times. So the customer can choose yeah, I can probably wait 10 days and get a cheaper price on that. Or no, I really need it in three. I'm willing to pay the extra money. So typically what we'll do is we'll finalize the quote, send it to the customer. And if we get the okay to proceed, um, we can come in and facilitate that order. And we'll just say this customer is okay with waiting. They want the lower quantities. And we will create that order. You can upload a physical purchase order, put in purchase order number. If you have shipping facilities, billing information, um, you can also put in here if the customer wants it shipped um, on their account or anything special. So we will complete that order. And as soon as you complete the order in paperless, that is going to uh, trigger the integration with Fulcrum. And we will be able to pop into Fulcrum and see that order come over. What that also does is it sends emails uh, to everyone on the email list that um, the order has been received. So you can have as many people on your team get notified that, hey, we got a new order. Okay, so this order has come over from paperless parts into Fulcrum. It created a sales order in Fulcrum, customer info, PO. Uh, the value and then any um, lead times that were put into um, paperless as well will come over into Fulcrum. So on the Fulcrum side, it will populate all the information you have for this customer. Um, if it's a new customer, it will create that customer in Fulcrum and bring everything in here um, from paperless as well. So both items are here. And you can just confirm the details. It brings over the step file, uh, brings over a little a little thumbnail picture of the part two, and your um, PDF as well. Quantity price. You can see that note I put in paperless for no welding on corners shows up here on the item notes. So that will follow um, the part through the shop. And what it also does is it will creates a URL from paperless so you can actually access the paperless parts viewer if you wanted to. And we can confirm the bomb and routing. So all of our operations are here from paperless programming through powder coat. If I click on powder coat, um, we'll see here that note I put in paperless for the color shows up on the instructions for that operation. So the powder coat will be able to see that um, when he's running running those parts so he knows what color to make them. And then it also grabs our material. Um, if the material doesn't exist in Fulcrum, it'll create a new one. Uh, it tells you how many, you know, based on 
how many parts you had, how much space that'll take up on the sheet, how much a sheet costs, and then um, your actual cost for that material. And then similarly here with this part, um, this one is the assembly. So you have your weld and grind on the main assembly, and then you have your um, subcomponents here. That PEM is here as well as a buy item and the price per piece um, and how many in total that you need. And we can come down here for each of those um, parts, the box and the lid, um, and you can see um, everything that those parts need as well. So it does a pretty nice job of bringing everything over that you need um, within the bomb and routing. You can tweak stuff in here if you'd like. Um, what it also do is it references the quotes and the order within um, paperless. So if you needed to refer back to that, um, you can come right in here to paperless, go back to the order. And if you had to come back into the quote, um, you know, you can, you can do that as well. Revise the quote or make any changes that you find fit. But as soon as you confirm all the details in here, uh, it's pretty well ready to go within Fulcrum. So it's at that point that we turn it to draft and needs approval and we send it on our way for processing. And that in a nutshell is the integration between paperless parts and uh, Fulcrum ERP. Before we had paperless parts, we spent a lot of time in the quote phase, building out our complex assemblies. And paperless has allowed us to save a significant amount of time for complex assembly quoting and has streamlined that process uh, significantly for us. Even our new estimator says like, I just like working in paperless better. It's just a nicer experience. You know, it's stuff you use every day. You want to be able to enjoy the software and enjoy using it. And, you know, I think that's where like, you know, we're fulcrum, um, you know, like our team on the floor, you know, like this is what they, they use every day. And it, it's very friendly. It's very visual. Ease of use is a, a big thing. So both paperless and fulcrum, you know, check those boxes for us. I would say the, the thing I like the most about working with paperless and fulcrum um, individually is both companies are very progressive and they're both willing to work with us with uh, requests we have, changes we'd like to see, uh, improvements, enhancements, and the ability to just do what we need to do um, on a daily basis. Uh, they both make that a much easier path for us in general.